council chamber and take him to the crypt. This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Heartbreaks. No. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must have... Public buildings destroyed. Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Substantial evidence! Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. As Mallory wished. My lord! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all. Sir Galahad! This matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death! That you can't be sure. 